Hello, this is JKP, also known as Larry Million, and this is my recording on how to get videos from the internet and convert them to audio and be able to put them onto a CD and be able to edit them in Audacity. Before I start, you're probably going to want to install a couple of things. One is Audacity. Just going through the Ubuntu Software Center and type in Audacity, easy, and install it. Next thing, you're going to want to also get WinFF K3B as well. Um, there's some add-ons in Firefox you're going to want, and that will be um, Unplug and Flash Aid. <coughs> Simply go in to Google and go type in add-ons. Click the link for add-ons for Firefox. You know where to go. Go there. A lot of downloads, huh? Anyway, sorry, that was a little off track. I will tend to be off track in my videos. It's a habit. Anyway, put in unplug. Simple. I don't know how it would be hard. And click the first link you see. It should bring up unplug. Very simple. Very astute. Uh, once you install it, just add, click Add Firefox. Hit Install after restart. Um, it'll probably ask you about integration. Um, the other way to access those is click Unplug from Tools, Configure, and you can click can, to integrate. You're probably going to be on this one, so go over to Integration and click Add to Toolbar. You'll have to restart, and uh, that's that. Next thing you're going to want is Flash Aid. Flash Aid is really, really useful. Um, it can correct um, a lot of things. It can correct your Flash Player uh, to make it more compatible f to get stuff. Um, it's really nice. When I found it out, it was like, holy crap, because the first one I installed Linux, it wouldn't play YouTube videos for some odd reason, so I went and found this guy, and he solved. When you first start up, you'll probably end up with some weird thing. Um, I just install it. I had to restart because I had made a couple of changes. Ah, uh, crap. I uh, just undid my integration here. Let me redo that so you guys can uh, see <coughs> what you need to do. Yeah, I, I do a lot of mistakes. You'll have to forgive me. Anyway, after you got these two guys installed and you can see them on your bar, go ahead and go to YouTube and go find yourself a uh, fun little video that you like. Um, preferably, since we're going to make a CD out of audio and music videos you like and take the video, I already decided to... Um, I already found a one that I... Uh, really like Breaking Benjamin. It is. So it's not just for rock. It's not genre. It's anything you want. Any song. Um, one of my favorite ones was this one. Uh, click it. Pause the video. Click little fish icon now. You can choose a high quality. The higher the quality, the bigger the download. It's in. It's on all. It's a way better quality. It's a really big download. Worth it once in a while, but I'd say go for normal quality. Um, you see two of them. This is in a different format. FLV. Notice the different format. MP4. Um, you may also want to install VLC to play some of these if you want them as a video. You don't have to, but that's if you want to play the videos, make sure it works, and install. Go to the, again, the Ubuntu Software Center and install VLC Media Player. So anyway, you can click download. Just make sure you click the little arrow, save as, and it'll save it to your desktop or save it to where you specify you want it to save. Uh, to save time, I already downloaded this video that I am at right now, and I downloaded it to my desktop. So 
um, to convert it into um, um, audio, um, go to WinFF, click it, open up WAW. Let me clear this because that's not. How, this is how it should look like. It should look blank. Click Add. Click that. Then uh, convert it to audio. It'll probably be blank. So just hover over. Click. It'll probably look like that. Click Audio Preset Wave for CD. It should already have the plugins for it. If you just even if you just installed it into, so you should be okay on that end. I just took a drink and that slam was my cup. Anyway, um, if you wanted an MP3 format, just for keepsakes, choose MP3, but you may have to install, you may have to install plugins from an alternate source. I recommend using Wave for CD. Um, note for Wave, it tends to be a bigger file, but you can export it in Audacity as an MP3. Either way, it'll work. So, to rip the audio from the video, hit wave for CD, hit convert, it takes really really quick, overwrite, because I already have a safe copy and I don't want to do it because the last one I did didn't work because my internet broke as I was downloading it. So hit yes, then hit enter, real simple, and it'll show up in your home folder. So if you go to your top home folder, it'll end up here. Next, if you have like a part in the video, say you don't like some parts, you go to Audacity, you go to File, yes, it'll probably be hidden up there, so make sure you find it. And you choose Open or Import. I preferably use Open because it's a lot easier for me to find my stuff. Click your audio, open it, and voila. I'm going to take off that little bit off the end to. Um, and remove bits of audio. All I have to do is highlight, delete, simple, done. Then go to file. As long as you're not playing it, you can, if you play it, make sure you hit pause or stop. Then go to file, then export or export selection. Um, either one will work. Just hit export. You can save it as an MP3. But to make use of it in K3B, you're going to have to have it as a wave. Um, don't mess with any other options because you won't have any other options for a wave. Then hit save. Replace if you already have one on there. Uh, you can add track title names and whatever. If it doesn't work, just do it again because sometimes you'll type stuff in and say it can't save. So all you have to do is just clear everything, hit OK, and it'll export it as a wave sound. That's all you have to do to get audio, very simple. You don't have to save these changes because the audio has already been exported. So you can hit no if you don't want it. If you want to do it, go for it, I don't care. Hit no. Then, you know, now you have your audio. Ta-da, now it is in wave again wave format if you want to convert it to mp3 you can skip that step in audacity or if it's just something you want to edit out you don't have to skip it i have two of them i'm going to delete one of them you don't don't do this what i'm about to do don't do if you have two copies don't delete them i'm deleting it because they don't want it Ta -da, now this other one took its place a different song all right if that was a little too quick, just kind of scroll back through the video. You're welcome to, because I can't control what you do. Yeah, it's true. I can't. You're watching. You have the control. Now, go to K3B after, again, I told you to install Audacity, FFmpeg, and K3B, and those add-ons. So go to K3B, open it up. The KDE burning tool, even if you don't run KDE, it's still nice to have. Because Ubuntu's set regular one, it's crap. So, select if you want to create a data. A data CD is to put like, or do you, uh, better way to put it, it's to make a USB out of a CD. That's basically what it is. You can create a 
new CD, audio CD, ones you, you would say play in your car or on a CD player, you choose that one. Or if you want to copy a CD, you know, that's that's other thing. But you can create a data if you want to save it and then go put it on somewhere else. But we're going to do an audio CD project. Simple thing I do, drag any of the wave stuff. You may get problems. Nay. Sorry about that, man. I had uh, my sister ask me a question. If you heard the word nay nay slip in there, that's just my nickname for my sister. If you get this, this is just because I added a wrong file type. Don't worry about that. This won't pop up, I promise. You'll probably get, here's your song that I got from the internet, which is the Breaking Benjamin one I got from the internet. Easy. Once you got all the ones that you have converted, very simple. Click burn. Put your CD in then click OK or click burn. You don't have to mess with any of these other settings unless you know what you're doing. Then it'll burn and you'll find it. Simple. You don't have to save any of the unsaved data. Easy. And that is how you would uh, manage media inside Ubuntu 11.4. Thank you for watching. Um, keep on the lookout for any of the other videos. Again, I'm a new YouTuber so uh, my videos may come in at random times. You also, the next video you see, um, my desktop may appear smaller. I have probably even increased the resolution for it. So thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, have a great day.